Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to be talking about a new pen. I know it's been a while and you guys are probably waiting with bated breath to hear about my pen collection. So I'm going to be talking about a new pen that I just recently got. Got it a couple of days ago. I actually opened it for two seconds and I decided it would be better to do an unboxing video. So here we go. This right here is, as some of you might be able to tell, a Mont Blanc. And it is the Heritage 1912. So let me see where I'm opening it from. There we go. This, as with most Mont Blancs, it comes in a little white paper box thing just to keep it safe and to make sure there aren't any stickers being placed on the actual box. This right here is the actual Mont Blanc box. Right there. It looks pretty nice. It's definitely a departure from the, the white cream colored boxes they have. And as you see, when you open it up, the actual box is much different than the other ones they've always had as well. Let me zoom in, or there we go. It has this uh, faux leather, or maybe it's real leather, a nice gray exterior. It has an almost stainless steel plating that goes across here, and it says Heritage Collection stamped on there. This is the little booklet. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it talks about a bunch of different stuff. As always, they try to save money and uh, have all the different languages all at once. Now, the reason it's called the Heritage Collection is because it's actually an homage to the original safety pens that Mont Blanc originally made back when it was called, uh, what was it, Mont Rosso something? Don't, don't yell at me, I'm, I'm blanking on the name. And I'll talk about the unique mechanism that it has, but this is the basic part of the pen. It has a very unique sort of a, it's almost like a mix of the Star Walker and the actual Mont Blancs, where you have this clear resin on top of an actual different type of star. And let me open it up. So this actually does, if you look at the old Simplo, there we go, Simplo pens that Mont Blanc used to make, it does look very much so like the old Simplos. Let me get in a little bit closer and show you guys the actual, there we go. This is the actual star. You can sort of see it. There we go. The clear resin. It's almost like an eyeball or something like the, the iris of an eye. There we go. So, let's get right back on there. Okay. And this is the other, oh, I should have kept it zoomed in. This is the other portion of the pen, just like that. And it's a very unique mechanism in that the old safety fillers, you would actually, let me see, there we go. You would actually do this and you'd pull the nib down and you'd use an eyedropper to pour ink in the tip and then you would lock it up and it would form a seal, and that's just how you would write with it. This is again an homage, and it's, it's pretty disgusting to, to do this you know, nowadays, so they don't do it like that. It has a very, very unique filling system. Um, what you're actually gonna be doing is you pull down, right on the bottom right there. Let me actually just do this. Okay, so you pull down, just a nice little firm pull like that, and you dip it in the ink, and you twist it, twist it, twist it, which makes the plunger go down and pushes air and ink out. And then you twist it, twist it, twist it to the right until all the ink is pulled up. And then you just snap it closed, just like that. And if you wanna actually put the lid back on there, you would rotate it without snapping it out first. And then you can just do this and close the lid. It's actually a very, very nice pen. It's definitely very, very different from the uh, 149s and the Legrands and all of that. And let me just show you, just so you see what it looks like, uh, you know, next to each other. This right here is the 149, obviously. That right there is the Heritage. Obviously a much smaller pen. Let me just 
do this. As you can see, much smaller all around. The nib is rhodium instead of being uh, uh, tri-tip like this is, so there's no gold on the nib. It's also a much smaller and much differently designed nib. Same with the back. This is almost, I would say, a mix between, in terms of the nib and everything, a Legrand and just a regular Classique. But in terms of the actual mechanism and everything, it's a very, very cool mechanism. You pull it to fill it up. You put it down to just retract and extend the nib. And you fill it up while the nib is ex uh, extended. So you just go just like that in the ink. After you do this, pull it to the left to force the piston down. Put it in the ink. Pull it to the right to suck it in and then just snap it back in. Put it down to put it away. And there you go. So I hope you guys like this. Um, it's actually funny. This is actually much more expensive than the 149 is, even though the 149 would be the flagship of the Mont Blanc line. This goes for about, I think, 950. This goes for about 1175. So it's, it's definitely unique. I believe it is a little bit more of a limited edition than the 149s are, but it's really just a different strokes for different folks type of thing. This stands out a lot more. This is obviously a much bigger talking point when you're showing it off and everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to make a couple of different videos showing you guys uh, a better comparison between the different range of pens, etc., etc. So if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.